I so narrowly avoided the gumball death. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to a game that's probably not been seen by quite a few people in quite some time. It is Bubsy the Bobcat. Not as abysmal as Bubsy 3D, uh, but we'll see how it goes. I played this game a lot with my stepdad when I was a bit younger, so hopefully uh, we can get some laughs from it at the very least. He's a puns spewing bobcat. It's gonna be super fun. Hooray! Well, <sighs> let's get it started, I suppose. What could possibly go wrong? You tell me, buddy. Oh, shit. False start. False start. What could, what, what could possibly go wrong? It feels like something went wrong just a second ago. But that's okay. We'll ignore that. We'll give it the benefit of a doubt. So Bubsy can jump and Bubsy can glide. And those are, uh, his two skills. It's somewhat related to, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog by some people who have never played Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Just because he runs fast and things like that. These aliens are called Woolies, and instead of connecting, uh, bananas or something like Donkey Kong Country, we're connect collecting yarn balls. Because, you know, he's a cat, so I guess that makes sense. You can die from almost anything in this game as well, if I remember correctly. There was a, a car that was always the bane of my existence, because you try and jump on it and then the fucking roof would open up and it would carry you away. It's really, really quite a strange game. But uh, hopefully I'm a little better at it now that I'm a big grown-up man. Although I don't hold much hope. I'd always lose on the uh, circus level, which we'll get to shortly. I think there's five five stages with three levels each so we'll see how far we can get I don't hold much hope but, but uh I'll give it my damnedest that's for sure the stages all look kind of samey which I don't know if it's good but I have found a couple of extra lives now oh no we're falling down a thing and there's another extra life hell yeah boy tell you what Doing the thing now. Start out with nine lives, you know, because he's a cat. I guess that makes pretty good sense. But the uh, platforming in this game is a little weird, because when you get on the edges like this, you'll really want to start running down it, which I don't want to. Please don't. Oh my god, upside down. Oh shit, there was two more lives over there, and I missed it. Can I get him? Yeah. I did it. I did it. Now we got 14 lives. I didn't realize that those shirts were lives when I was younger, I don't think. That's not uh, extremely well defined. Why does a bobcat uh, get lives from a shirt? It doesn't make much sense. Holy shit! Those are the cars! Okay, it didn't kill me, so I guess, I guess that's fine. And then we'll run out this wooden bridge that sounds like it's made of metal. That makes sense. Sure, why not? And there's a recycling symbol because, because Bubsy's hip. Hip people recycle. Well, mostly old people recycle, but it still means something. As long as it makes you feel better, you, you just keep on doing you, bro. Really, I think it takes a lot more time and energy. Oh my god. Yarn ball's coming out of the yarn ball. Who could have imagined it? And there we are. 279 yarn. Uh... I really regret that they don't give you an extra life. But that's okay. Press any button to continue. He doesn't like heights, because he's a cat, and cats don't land on their feet or something. What the fuck are you talking about, Bubsy? You don't even know what cats do, and what cats don't do. Oh my god. It's extremely hard to play this game, uh, especially because you're kind of just guessing what's going to come next. So, if you haven't played it before, you might be in some trouble. Or if you played it fucking 20 years ago, you might be in some trouble. Which means I might be in some trouble! Because it has been about 20 years. God damn. And, uh, it didn't age terribly. I guess it's kind of a fun game. But I do enjoy platformers and the like. Super Mario, obviously one of my favorites. But, uh, Bubsy will do. Since we've already done Mario, and I don't want to do it again. What would be the point of that? Boink! Boink! 
Oh, you don't bounce on those boxes. That's all right, we'll just jump on the aliens so we can get more points. I assume that the yarn balls are gonna give me extra lives somehow. Jeez, I was so sure I was gonna die there. I don't think we've died yet, and now that I've said that, I probably will. Ugh. There was another one-up shirt down there. How did I miss it? All right, I'm going over there. God damn it. There it is. I died trying get to get the one up. So uh, we will go back to that little checkpoint exclamation point thing that I found, which is helpful. God fucking shit poop. You did mention that, as a matter of fact. You really did. I'm going to uh, not go up on the roof because it's a death trap. Apparently there's death traps down here as well, though. Everywhere you go. They want you to go fast, but since you can't see the uh, the end of the stage or whatever it is, yeah, don't go fast. It's a fucking trap. Ah, oh, luckily we did make it. Finally. Good job, Bubsy. We're proud of you, little buddy. Thank God this isn't Bubsy 3D. As abysmal... That doesn't make sense. As abysmal as the controls are in this game, Bubsy 3D was a hell of a lot worse. He did not survive the uh, the jump to 3D, which is strange. It could have been uh, a really great franchise. Just kidding. That's not true. <laughs> See, the joke is that it wouldn't be a really great franchise. But they tried their damnedest, Accolade. I, I applaud their efforts. They weren't ones to give up, that's for sure. Oh my god, I could have died in the water. That's probably one of the only deaths that actually makes sense in this. Because cats don't like water. And here's another wooden chain bridge thing. A bridge too... A bridge too short, but it's called a bridge too fur. For some reason that... That pun isn't very good. It's not very punny. You know what I mean? Because if it said a bridge too short and then he said a bridge too fur, that would be a good joke, but... Oh, god damn it. Ah. <sighs> Especially hard because you can't, uh, see things down there. See, in Mario, uh, there aren't any hidden surprises like that. In Sonic either, really. Or I guess there are in Sonic, you'll run into some shit. But, uh, you have the coins, or the rings, I guess they are. To, to sort of give you a second chance. Okay, we'll just go over here. I want to get the checkpoint because I'll probably fucking eat shit again. And I'm just so scared to go fast in this game. Uh-oh. Don't get hit by that thing. It will kill you. Everything in this fucking game will kill you. Be careful running up the stairs. Oh, I remember those. Gonna hit you with a fucking gumball. That's right. Cats are allergic to gum. Did you know that? It stays in their system for fucking seven years or something. Which is like only one year in cat years or some, some shit like that. I don't know. I'm just trying to get through this without uh, eating too much shit. Oh yeah, I got kicked by a shoe. That's something the cats do, right? I don't know. I've never had a cat. I had kittens, but they were my children. <laughs> what does that even mean? It means they climbed up my pants and onto my shoulder and they were adorable. Oh my god. I so narrowly avoided the gumball death. Good job. Brian Gumball is after me. Okay. I think we made it. Yep. Now we've got the, uh, the Woolies. If you're interested in the Bubsy lore. They are called Woolies. Oh my god. And I've got to bounce on him. Bounce on him! Ah, uh, bounce on him! Shit. I miss. Come on! I was so sure he was gonna get me. There we go. Once you got the timing down, that ain't so bad. So that is the uh, first world, friends, of Bubsy Claw's encounter of the third kind. Oh, the puns are just rampant, aren't they? <laughs> and there's uh, the passcode, if you should like. Although, I think it starts you out with that amount of lives as well, so maybe you should find somebody who completed it with 14 lives or 15 or however many it's possible to get. Anyways, if you do remember to like, comment, and or subscribe on this episode, I will send you a curtain rod. You can beat your kids with it, um, or you can just make them play Bubsy 3D. 
That'll probably have about the same effect on their psyche. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye